Hi, in this video, I'll show you different ways you can embed media files into Obsidian Notes. These would include things like screen capture, PDF, photos, and videos. First, I'll show you how to embed media files that are saved on the computer. Then I'll show you how to use iframes to embed media that are part of websites directly into Obsidian without actually copying these files over into the vault. Okay, so Obsidian currently recognizes the following file formats that can be embedded. These are, again, mainly image files, audio files, video files, and PDFs. So let's start with embedding files from our computer. As you can see, I have Obsidian open on the left side and File Explorer open on the right side. One way is to simply drag and drop a file, like this photo of pizza, into our note. When you do this, it'll save a copy of that media file in the Obsidian Vault, as you can see here. If you look at the markdown code, the double bracket is linking to the media file within the vault, and the exclamation mark in front is instructing it to display the content on this page. Let's try dragging another picture here of pasta. And we see that it has also been copied over to the vault. We can change the size of the picture by changing the pixel for the width. All you have to do is include a pipe after the file name and type in the width of the pixel. So if I were to put in 100 pixels, the image gets really small. If I make it 500, it's larger, so on and so forth. You can do it also for the height, but that may distort the image aspect ratio. As you can imagine, as we embed many media files, the file pane will get very crowded and messy. So one way we can manage this is by changing the default location where all attachment would be saved. So first we would need to create a new folder. So let's go to a new folder and I'll name this media. Then go down to settings and under files and links, for default location for new attachments, we're going to select in the folder specified below and then change this to media. Now, when we drag new files into the document, they're not showing up in the root folder. If you expand the media folder, you can see that the files have been dropped into the media folder. By the way, if you don't want to copy the media into the Obsidian Vault and want to just link to the file in your computer, you can drag the file while holding on to the control key. And if you look at the markdown code here, you can see that it's actually linking to an external file on your computer rather than an internal file that's sitting in your vault. Of course, the caveat of using this method is that you need to ensure that the link doesn't get broken. So if you move, rename, or delete the file on your computer, the image will no longer display. And same if you're accessing this vault from another computer and can't have access to the linked file. Same idea goes for other files like video and audio. If you import the video file into the vault by dragging the file, it'll show a preview window with basic controls to play the media file. But if you control drag just to link to the file without copying it to the vault, in this case, you won't see the preview or the media controls. You'll have to click the link to open and play the media using the default program assigned to the media type. Embedding PDF is the same. The document is displayed inside Obsidian's own viewer. The control options here are fairly straightforward, so I won't go through them. But if you do want to display a specific page, after the file name, type a hash symbol followed by page equals and the page number that you want to display. And as you can see, we are displaying page number three. 
Now I'm going to show you how to embed content from external websites using iframes. The code for iframes look like this. I have it saved as a template so I don't have to type it in each time. I'll make a video about creating templates soon. So what we need to do is replace this bit of code here with the address of the website that you want to link to. So I will paste in a website from Merriam-Webster on Word of the Day. If I click off the code, you can see the website being pulled in. Obviously, it is not being displayed correctly. So we could look at the code again where it says height and width. I will manually change this. So let's make the height say 700. You might have to play around with this a little bit. And for width, I'll say 800 and see how that looks. Looks much better. We do have the scroll bar so that we can scroll up and down here. And if the size is still quite not right, then what I often like to do, at least with the width, is rather than specifying an exact pixel, I just put 100%. And that tends to work out pretty well. We can do this with images and other media as well. You can copy the image address. For example, right mouse click, copy image address, and then bring into Obsidian. I'm going to open my template and replace this bit with the copy link. And again, the image isn't the right size. So I will come back in, make the height 800 and width maybe 1,000. See how that looks. That looks much better. So when we do it this way, this is different from copying the actual image and pasting it into our notes. As you can see, if you go to the media, this image file hasn't been copied over to the vault. This is just linking to the web page that's hosting the image. And for things like YouTube videos, you don't even have to type in the iframe code since it'll provide it for you. You just need to make sure when you right mouse click to copy the video link, you're not actually copying the video URL, but you're copying the embed code. So when you do this and paste it into Obsidian, you can see that it's actually copying the iframe code. And when I click out of it, Here's a video with the controls. There's a lot of practical applications for using iframes within Obsidian. The embedded content will be dynamic. So when the content is updated on the external website, it will be updated in our Obsidian note page as well. Anyways, this video ended up being longer than I had intended. I hope you found it helpful. If you want to learn more about Obsidian and other productivity tools, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks and see you in the next video.